ever wanted a cheap Bluetooth speaker that's portable and actually has decent sound? Well, you've come to the right speaker to check out. I'd like to thank the company Adflick for sending me this unit in to review. So this is the Adflick Soundbar, a wireless Bluetooth speaker. And there are four things I look for in every wireless speaker. The first one is the general category with the easiness of use, battery life, any extra features, portability, durability, and sound. So the speaker comes in two different colors. The one I have here is the blue version. The other color is black, and you'll notice that the price on Amazon is around $25, but I actually have a promo code down in, in the description that you can save 40% off on this product. I'll talk more about it at the end of the video. This speaker has a hard grill on the front, and if you look to the top side of the speaker, the logo is synced in rather than protruding, which is a nice thing. On the bottom, you'll find two kind of sticky tacks, which aren't really sticky, but it can hold the speaker in place on a curved surface. And this speaker has a rubberized plastic all around. If you look to the back, you'll find the 3.5 millimeter aux jack, the power button, micro USB to charge, and a micro SD card slot. On the top, you'll find four buttons. The one on the right is to play, pause, or answer calls. This button will skip to the next song, or if you hold it, it'll raise the volume. And the button next to it is to play the previous, previous track or lower the volume. And this button all the way on the left is to change from the different modes, Bluetooth, radio, or audio. So like I was saying, this has a radio mode radio where you can basically mode. just play the radio. I don't usually use this, but it's a very nice feature to have. The speaker has a nice lanyard as well. It's very simple to connect. All you do is turn on the speaker, then a blue LED light should show up, and it will say the following. Where it goes into discovery mode, then you can just go ahead and connect with your device. And once you're connected, you should hear a beep from the speaker itself, which is kind of a confirmation that it's connected to your device. If your device does not have Bluetooth, then that's fine. You can take the 3.5 millimeter aux cable, which was included in the package, and just go ahead and line it up with the device and your speaker. And now go ahead and you're gonna wanna switch your speaker to ready mode third mode audio input audio input and it goes ahead and connects it one minor problem i had was the led light the light was a little annoying when i had set it on the table when i was trying to do my work when it comes to battery life i got around six hours the problem is when it's low on battery it'll just turn off without warning and say the following beforehand Void destroys battery. In the general category, this gets an 8.7 out of 10. This speaker is small. To show you how small, here is my hand. I've got small hands for my age, but here's the speaker on top. Still not convinced? Well, let me show you another comparison. Here's the iPod Touch 4th Gen. It's 2.32 inches in width and 4.4 inches in height. Now here's the speaker itself, which is smaller than the iPod in every way except in thickness. This makes it very easy to pack up. It can even fit in small bag pockets. It can also fit in your pant pockets, except for maybe skinny jeans. And it may look a little bulky, but it's not uncomfortable. This is a very portable speaker. 10 out of 10. In terms of durability, it looks and feels sturdy with the hard grill on the front and rubberized plastic around it. But I did drop this from about three feet high and not a scratch. But the power button has gotten harder to turn on and off ever since. And it feels like you wouldn't want to drop this a lot. Thankfully, there is a lanyard, but even that's starting to break off. In durability, this gets a 7.5.
One of the most important things when it comes to buying a speaker is sound. The sound quality was okay. It does get a bit of distortion and the bass is slightly above average. I could feel the table shaking when I had the speaker faced on its back. I really enjoyed watching videos and listening to it with a group of people because it gets really loud. In sound, this gets a 7 out of 10. Now the speaker's sound quality may not be the strong point here, but it's better than many other speakers at the $25 price point. It's nice and small, which makes it easy to take around, and not to mention that it gets loud. So with all of this, it gets an overall score of 8.3 out of 10. I'd recommend this to whoever is looking for a cheap, compact speaker and isn't an audiophile. Before I go, I want to mention the discount code here, and it's in the description. Use this during checkout and you get 40% off. It's valid until the end of November 2014.